the water baptism and the sacraments debate so this second video will focus on sacraments i've talked about water baptism earlier again our salvation is complete with or without water baptism is complete with or without Holy Ghost baptism it's complete with or without um holy communion but the lord wants us to have all these experiences a water baptism among its other benefits is like openly declaring to heaven to hell, to heart, that I belong to Jesus. It's like you screaming, I'm my father's son. Your father will be proud to hear you publicly identify with him. The same thing our Lord Jesus Christ. Now talking about the sacraments, Paul said, The same way the Lord give me or teach me, I also hand it over to you and teach you. We know Paul was not part of the twelve. We know Paul was not even there when they were taking their communion. If Paul said the Lord has shown him or given him or taught him, it's like a private tutorial. And actually, the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to Paul and taught him certain things. Among the things he taught Paul was about the communion. I think that's very important. It's, it's so important that Jesus had to include it in the syllabus he gave it to Paul which Paul also handed over. That means there is something big about it. The Lord owed it in high esteem or high regard, as you may want to call it. And then missing water baptism, you can argue water baptism and miss water baptism, which you should not miss. The missing water baptism is not like missing the communion. I will tell you what. When you don't do water baptism, there are people also who did water baptism, but didn't fully uh, actualize or take advantage of the benefits of the water baptism in their life. So they are better than you in terms of the experience and some other things, but at least you are almost at the same par. But And you know water baptism is once and for all. But the only communion is something we take continuously. So even if you start taking it in ignorance or without full understanding of the privileges and the and, and the power it holds, like divine health, long life, and all of that, even if you don't understand those things at the beginning, there is a room for you to continuously go in understanding and take advantage, keep taking advantage of the benefit. So communion is something you don't want to miss, you don't want to take with levity and and aside from the spiritual benefits of communion that we can go on and on to talk about, Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. Paul said, the Lord told me, Jesus told me, not the disciples telling me or teaching me, now the Lord told me that do this in remembrance of me. That's the book of Luke 12, 19, 1 Corinthians 11, 24 to 25. Now come to think of it, if you celebrate Christmas, but you don't, sacrament <laughs> no be juju be that <laughs> you do christmas to remember jesus but what he actually told us to be doing to remember him you are not doing it it's not it's not right it's not right it's not right i don't want to be a judge but it's not right and lastly i should add that water baptism is not a biblical prerequisite to taking the holy communion i believe that is said true, and i don't have to do another video or write an article to explain that. So take your communion with understanding and go for water baptism if you have not. Thank you.